Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this particular video, we will be looking into Byzantine general's problem as well as Byzantine fault tolerance. So basically, this is a problem that was figured out in distributed system like blockchain. And once this problem was figured out, then its solution that is nothing but the way through which that particular problem could be solved or tolerated. That was figured out. So that is nothing but Byzantine fault tolerance. So first we'll have to look into what exactly was the problem. So for figuring out the problem, we'll have this particular example. So over here you can see this was the empire which was to be captured. Now for capturing this particular empire, an army was sent. Now this is the army which you can see at the either side of this particular kingdom. This was the army that was sent by the king. Now there was a twist. This particular army was sent in divisions. So you can see there are four divisions in this particular army and each division was assigned with a general. So basically this was nothing but the representative of that particular small division. Now we all know that unity is strength. To capture this particular empire, these generals were supposed to come to a common agreement so that they all can have the same decision and they can capture this particular empire. Now the general of one of these divisions was the one to initiate what kind of steps should be taken to capture the empire. Either attack has to be made or we have to surrender. So let's say if this particular division's journal says that we need to perform attack. Now obviously the decision of attack or surrendering was made by looking at the current situation of this particular empire. Now what this general will do? This general will pass on the message to other divisions that we now have to attack the empire so that we can capture it. Now let's say if all of this gets the message correctly without any modification, then everyone will be ready to attack the empire. And as we know, unity is strength. That is why this particular army will be able to capture this particular empire very easily. Now carefully observe here. The message will be sent by a messenger with the message that what has to be done. Now in this particular case, there is a risk of modification of the message that is being sent by the messenger. Now over here, let's say the message of attack has been sent to this particular division. But let's say a case arises that this particular division is a traitor. A traitor is the one who betrays the common agreement and doesn't agree to the common agreement. So what this traitor will do? This traitor will not be attacking at the same time what these three are doing. Similarly, there might be a case that this particular division will also be a traitor. Then in this particular case, half of the army will not agree the agreement. So in this particular case, since there is no unity, there are high chances that this particular empire won't be captured easily. So the same way in distributed systems also, there might be some nodes who will act as a traitor. They will not agree to the common agreement. In that particular case, the concerned task won't be done in time or it won't be done easily. Or there might be a case that there are high chances that the entire system will fail. So that was the problem. And this problem is named as Byzantine General's problem. So I hope the scenario is clear. What exactly happens in this particular problem? I hope it is clear. Now, once that problem was figured out, a solution has to be made, right? So the solution is nothing but Byzantine fault tolerance. This was a way through which this particular problem can be tackled. Before moving to this particular Byzantine fault tolerance, let's first have a look at the different cases. So this is the first case. Here in the first case, you can see there is a commander and there are two lieutenants. Lieutenants are nothing but the concerned who acts as a higher authority and agrees to the decision made by the commander. Now over here, you can see that commander passes a message to both the lieutenants that we need to attack. Here also to Lieutenant 1, the commander says attack and to the Lieutenant 2 also, the message has been sent that we need to attack. Now over here, you can see just to confirm 
lieutenant 2 sends a message to lieutenant 1 that we need to retreat that means we need to surrender now the commander sees that we need to attack but lieutenant 2 sees to lieutenant 1 that we are surrendering so in this particular case here lieutenant 2 is the culprit lieutenant 2 is the traitor who is betraying the current situation so in this particular case just because of this particular traitor node there might be a chance that the system will fail now let's say another case here the commander sends message to the lieutenant 1 to attack and to the lieutenant 2 to retreat now over here lieutenant 2 sends the message of retreat to lieutenant 1 which was said by the commander so here in this particular case lieutenant 2 is not the culprit because the commander says to retreat and that's what he said to the lieutenant 1 that is to retreat but here the commander is saying two different messages to both the lieutenants so that is why here the commander is the culprit so in this particular case again there are high chances that the system may fail so these are the two cases considering three nodes in the byzantine problem now let's see for four byzantine do you want to check out this attractive funny memes then what are you waiting for these are just a glimpse of the memes that i've created on my instagram page you can find the link to my instagram handle in the description box please visit the link and do watch all these interesting funny memes these are not just memes these memes and reels contains technical information here i try to relate memes with the technological concepts so please do appreciate that by watching all those and if you love it please hit the follow button so over here you can see again there is a commander there are three lieutenants this time the commander says to lieutenant one two and three to attack attack is the message that was given to all the lieutenants lieutenant one says to lieutenant two that we need to attack as it was said by the commander lieutenant three says to lieutenant two to retreat now here you can see the message is modified here lieutenant three is acting as a culprit so in this particular case if lieutenant two listens to lieutenant three's message then in that case these two nodes will be acting differently these two nodes won't be attacking these two nodes will surrender then in this particular case again the empire won't be captured so i hope you understood the scenarios of four byzantine as well as these two cases also which we have seen in three nodes involved in byzantine general's problem now let's move on to the byzantine fault tolerance that is nothing but the solution to this particular problem now let's have a look at it so, so here byzantine fault tolerance says that the system can handle faulty nodes as long as they are less than one third of the total number of nodes that means whatever the total number of nodes are if the number of faulty nodes are lesser than one third of the entire total number of nodes then in that particular case the system will work nicely but if the number of faulty nodes exceeds one third of the total number of node then in that particular case the system will fail and that can be represented by this particular simple formula here this particular simple representation formula says that if this particular thing is getting followed then the system will not fail it will work nicely and this formula says that f that is the total number of faulty nodes has to be strictly lesser than or equal to one third of the entire total number of nodes present inside the entire system so here f is nothing but the faulty nodes and n is the total nodes that are present inside the entire system so let's take a simple example let's say we have the total number of nodes in the system this n value is 18 then in this particular case we need to calculate the maximum number of faulty nodes that this particular system can bear so we just have to calculate the value of f so for calculating it we just have to plug in the value of n which is 18 18 by 3 minus 1 18 by 3 is 6 6 minus 1 is 5 so the maximum number of faulty nodes that this particular system can bear is 5 if this number exceeds then the system will fail now i'll give you one problem let's say if the system has 27 as the total number of nodes and the total number of faulty nodes in the system are 12 
Now tell me in the comment section whether this particular system will fail or it will work fine. So now I hope the Byzantine fault tolerance is clear to you all. With that, we come to the end of the video. We just have seen Byzantine general's problem with all the different cases that are possible, as well as we finally have seen the Byzantine fault tolerance with its formula representation. I hope everything is clear. If you guys have any single doubt, you can straight away put it in the comment section. I'll be happy to solve it. For more such videos, do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Also hit the bell icon and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Please join me on Telegram. Thanks for watching. Have a good day ahead.